I am back to vlogging again, and I got some cool news. Today is episode one of Road to the Platform. So I'm gonna be competing in my first powerlifting event, September 22nd, 2019. We're currently about 10 weeks out, and I've started a new powerlifting training program for it. Um, so I'm gonna be going hitting a workout today. We're starting chain work today. So I will take you along for that. Two workouts a day, uh, about six days a week typically for now. Um, I've never trained like this before, so something new and exciting. So I'm going to take you guys along, show you what I'm doing to prepare for my first powerlifting meet. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let's head to the gym. Uh, squat. Good stuff. Hold one, two, three, down. Nice, that a boy. I don't know if that counts. Did my legs lock out on top? Press. Up. Pump, pump. Oof. Rack. Children to change their lives. Let's move forward together. Get your child on track to a successful future and call 1-800-841-2867 to apply today or visit RUCD.org. When you need a contractor to handle your excavation work, including water, gas line, and power line installation, sewer line... All right, guys, so we made it to the gym. Uh, we're going to be hitting our chest today, and then tonight is going to be back and... Shoulder, uh, biceps and some shoulders, I believe. Um, so the gym I work out is actually a fire department. And so pretty small. Their equipment, you know, for the small town like in Bryce Canyon City, they do a pretty good job. But uh, their barbells aren't to spec. So one barbell is like five pounds lighter. It's like 40 pounds, 745. And the other one's like seven pounds lighter. Plus they bend weird. Um, just cheap Chinese made barbells. So I got myself a Rogue Fitness barbell here because um, I'm gonna be training with this thing almost every day for this powerlifting meet. So I don't want something like a barbell that's extremely important to use to throw me off. So I brought my own and then I got chains here in this bag. So we are gonna go ahead and take these on inside and uh, get set up for our workout today. Okay, so we got the barbell set up. We're gonna set the chains up here. And today's program, our following is this so we're on week two i don't have a duffel little bar so i'm gonna use regular bar eight by three um, explosive reps with chains starting out at 55 percent a one rep max if you're on your bench press 60 percent 65 and 75 70 percent and then we're gonna follow that once again we don't have a duffel little bar but a five pound cause bench for a three by six at 80 percent so that's gonna be our morning workout and then this evening we're gonna come in and do one arm dumbbell rows, three count paws, dumbbell flies, hammer curls, bicep, uh, more tricep or cable things here. Um, and then we can add in some extra arm work today as well if we want to do that. So we will get set up for this. All right guys, so we got our chain set up here. Um, we're going to be using these to create constant pressure and tension. So at the top part of your lift, it's going to be a little heavier. At the bottom, it's going to be a little lighter. We're going to be doing speed work today working on um, bar path and movement, moving the bar as fast as possible. Um, Cause not only lifting heavy is important, but the faster you can lift the weight, that is the heavier you can lift as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up, warm up and get started. Okay, so first set we're going 55% on one rep max. We have uh, 175 loaded up on the bar. We've got the chains here, they're gonna deload, not fully deload as I come down and then back up. All right, so we're going eight by three, first set, 55%. Uh, screen turns off, it's still recording, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so on these, we're gonna try and get it to be as explosive as possible. Ugh. 
Yeah, that's for set. And it's gonna get heavy. We're gonna get up to about 70%. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, so we just completed the first two sets. Uh, we are now up to 60%. We're going to, once again, explosive as fast as possible uh, with the chains and come down, control down, touch the chest, and explode up. You know, we're not bouncing off our chest. We're just coming down, touching, pausing for a slight second, and then explode up as fast as possible. Two sets here at 60%, and we will increase from there. Still feels easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, arm placement was good. Okay, four sets down. We're going into our fifth and sixth set. We're now at 65% one rep max. My current one rep max pause rep is 315. Uh, touch and go, 335. So we're working at 205 here for 65% with the chains on it. So we'll hit our next set here. What weight are you gonna be doing? This is 162. 162, sweet. getting a little harder to move fast. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go, 225. We adjusted the chain so that they don't come off the ground as we're doing them. Uh, so we have that constant tension. We don't have to work stabilizer muscles as much. Uh, last set, two more sets here, three reps. Explosion was like non existent. <laughs> <laughs> One seventy five for three reps. Let's go, Tim. Nice. Good. How that feel? Okay, Pretty so we good. just finished the speed work. Uh, now we're going into a heavy three by six, uh, five second pause at the bottom. And we're gonna start out with 250 pounds, which is 80% of my one rep max. Um, and we'll see if we can do it. <laughs> this is gonna be challenging.
Alright All right, guys, so we just finished our workout. Um, pretty challenging. So I was able to hit on this last one. Um, let me show you here. Uh, it was a 3 by 6 80%. So I hit 250 for the first one, 5 second pause at the bottom. And then I filled my last rep, I got it halfway up, failed on the second attempt. Third attempt, I only got it like a fourth of the way up and failed on my sixth rep. So pretty challenging, I'm kind of pushing myself where I want to be. Uh, tonight we're going to come in and test that. So a good workout so far. I have to be at work at about 10 today. So I'm going to go loosen up here, stretch a little more, uh, change. And then, as you guys know, I'm a park ranger in Bryce Canyon National Park. And so... Got a nine and a half hour shift there today, so I'll do that um, and then come back here after right after and hit my second workout. So it should be good, and uh, I will see you guys. All right, guys. So I finished up work today, feeling pretty mentally fatigued. It's a tiring job. We we're here with Omar, my boy. He's been working out for a couple months now. Um, took a little break, didn't you? And yeah. then you're getting back into it again. Dude's got a sick truck. <laughs> Have to maybe show you guys that in a bit here. Um, but gonna hit my actual workout I'm supposed to do tonight, which is some dumbbell um, rows and some flies and things like that. But kind of just feel like seeing what I hit on the bench press tonight. So we'll test it out, see how it goes, um, and then get this workout on the road. Let's do it. Let's go, Omar. Putting that work. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. One, two, three. 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 Nice. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good work. My counter, go that. Sure. Let me get it. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm sorry. 
just want to make this clear. Yeah.